what, what the mate is talking about. So let's go in, y'all. So, um, Redskins linebacker, uh, Lyndon Antonio Trail, asked his followers. Well, first of all, before I say this, let me, let me just pay homage real quick. Uh, this story was brought to my attention by Kimberly White. She posted this on her timeline and tagged me. And I thought it was very, very interesting because... This is a subject that people uh, talk about all the time. This is always back and forth, back and forth, bunch of point, uh, finger pointing all the time about this subject. You know, interracial dating to to date or not. So this guy, this this Washington Redskins uh, football player, he. Uh, asked his followers what they thought about it. And one of his followers by the name of Maserati Rick, and I'm putting his name out there so y'all can go in on his ass. Call himself Maserati Rick. Miami Dolphin Maserati Rick. Username Maserati Rick. I don't know if he played for the Dolphins or what. I don't know. But it says, My, Miami Dolphin, username Maserati Rick. And this is how he responded. The answer is simple, brother. Most of the sisters were raised in broken homes, and they don't have proper guidance to how they should treat a man. So they mess up a lot in relationships. The biggest difference is a white woman knows her position and accepts her role as a woman and let her man lead. And also, y'all, he got a lot of run-on sentences and shit in here, so... When I go to fumbling and stuff like that, that's me trying to uh, decode this, this raggedy-ass uh, penmanship. Okay, so he said, black women believes it's 50-50, and you have to be uneducated to ever think such a thing. Black women are stubborn, closed-minded, and always want to argue and be the boss. Men don't like that shit, especially if you're successful Young black athletes are looking for a woman to submit, do they part, and leave it as is. The biggest problem with some women is that they can never take responsibilities for their actions. They hate to admit when they are wrong. And you can never get better at anything unless you can admit your feats and mistakes. How would I be a better football player if I'm not coachable? Black women are not coachable. Let's put it that way. Man, I'm tired of their asses. You got to go through shit to, to medications. You know, actually he said, you got to go through shit to no medications. The best thing I could have done was get me a white girl with a great family to support her and our relationship. So let's go back to the words that he said. He said that, you can never get better at anything unless you can admit your feats and mistakes. Go ahead on and, and admit right now, dude. You fucked up. You know you fucked up, right? Date who the hell you want to date. Because look here. I ain't got to be with that person. I ain't got to sleep with that person. I ain't got to talk to them. I'm not going to pay their car note. I ain't paying their mortgage. I'm not going to talk to them when they, when they feeling down. I don't need them to talk to me when I'm feeling down. So do it's your life. Live your life how you want to live your life. The issue that I have is when people get these old asinine ass excuses or reasons, reasons why they date. They don't date within their own race. And I hear this a lot times when dudes say, well, I don't date the black women because the black women, you know, they, they don't listen. And he talking about coachable. She's not, they're not coachable. This motherfucker, like he a coach, like he coaching some damn football team or something. They're not coachable. 
Like, motherfucker, it's a relationship, not a damn football game. See, that's the problem. He playing games. And he sound like the type of dude that's domineering, controlling. You know, he won't tell you what to do and push you around and handle you any kind of way. That's what the dude sound like. So all these black dudes run around saying, oh, the sisters don't do this and the sisters don't do that. And they run into the white women. Like I say, date who you want to date. But if your logic for dating a white woman is that the blacks, the sisters don't listen and they won't act right or whatever. Yo, that whole statement is fucking void because you stand a worse chance of being in a long term relationship with a white woman than you do with any other woman. So that shit y'all be talking ain't about nothing. You sound stupid. Every time you open your mouth, you sound ignorant. Maserati Rick sound like a damn fool. And he talking about black women grew up with in broken homes. He sound like one of them. He sound like a black woman who grew up in a broken home. That's what he sound like. That's exactly what he sound like. He sound like a woman who grew up in a broken home. And still torn. Got daddy issues. Sound like he got some mama issues too. The way he hating on black women. So if the issue is you, Maserati Rick, with your silly ass. If you the issue, it don't matter where you run to. You ain't going to find no happiness. You ain't going to find that good woman. Because the problem is you. It ain't the woman. It's your ass. You the problem. And that relationship you in right now, maybe it'll last, maybe it won't. Statistically speaking, it won't. And we'll see how your silly ass looked then. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>